Hello everyone, it's Imran here. Welcome back to another video. So, I'm going to react to another episode of Sudden Stories. And this is episode number 25, which is called Captain's Calamity. So, yeah. The last, last episode, so I did read, so yeah, I've now officially completed the Larry Saga. I reacted to episode 24 the other day, which was obviously Leave It to Larry, the last part in the Larry Saga. Excuse me, if you want to go and check my reaction to that one out it will be in the top right hand corner of your screen right now so yeah i've just got two episodes and the special left and then after that i'm officially caught up on sudden stories so yeah these next two episodes i'm especially looking forward to because this, this one particularly, it stars Captain. So if you don't know who Captain is, he first appeared in the 2010 Thomas special, <coughs> Misty Island Rescue. <coughs> I don't know why I did that. And he was and he was actually quite a decent character, but it was just a shame that we never got any episodes with him as the main character. But this is about to be something completely different right here. Captain's Calamity will focus... Basically, what it, Captain's Calamity will do will be an episode centered around Captain, it will. So, it's going to be refreshing. We don't norm, I don't normally see any stories in the fandom that's centered around Captain, who's a basically, basically a bit like Hector. We don't really see any CGI, fan -made, not CGI, but any fan-made centered stories around, around Hector and, of course, Captain, like I just mentioned now. So, this is going to be quite refreshing and... I absolutely can't wait. I absolutely cannot wait to react to this episode and see what this is all this one is all about. So yeah, I've got nothing really else to say. I mean, I really enjoyed the Sergeant Stories series I do, and I'm so excited that I'm nearly caught up on the entire series. So yeah, links to the video I'm reacting to in the description down below as always. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this. This episode actually premiered the day after the Queen died, sadly. <laughs> Captain's Calamity. And it is recording, by <sighs> the way. Nothing like a trip to the forest at the end of a hard day's work. Hmm? Is that... smoke? But why would there be smoke? <gasps> Fire! Yep. Oh shoot, Henry's forest is on fire! Oh, must be because of the hot sunshine. Never mind, here comes the rescue team. Bell and Flynn are on the job. No blaze gets the best of fiery Flynn. Take that! And some of these! Wow! Try and mess with me, do ya? <laughs> always the theatrics with you, isn't it? Yep, always with Flynn. So, looks like we'll definitely have some... a new way of doing the videos. Hip hip hooray! Oh, well done, Bell and Flynn! Great job! Thank you so much! You're welcome, Henry. No yep, please. Henry wouldn't have... Thank us. Go. In record time, Splendid so job putting out that fire, chaps. Would have been better for the job. What <laughs> <laughs> at a time. We're just doing our job. Oh, there's Captain feeling left out, isn't he? In fact, he's not there. All right, easy does it. You're in dangerous territory now, old boy. Yeah, and he, I can, we can see that. Right over there. Yes, but our boat's totaled. We have no way to get back to shore, and now we're stuck in the storm. Don't worry, Captain's here to save you. You're gonna have to jump. I can't get close enough to board you the normal way. Oh. It's too far. You're gonna have to get closer. Oh, I'll see what I can do. Captain can't get too close or else he'll get a hole in himself and it'll sink. Oh. Is this close enough? 
Not yet. Come on, Captain. A little closer. How much closer do you want it to be? Is this good? Yes. Now just get in right. quickly. Jump one at a time. He's done it! Uh, uh, uh. Was out all night he was. Onto the fire with my cannon. <laughs> the director was so impressed, he kept it in the final cut. I'm telling you, work Hey guys! Oh. Wait, was that what did he, Flynn say? <laughs> the director was so impressed, he kept it in the final cut. I'm oh, you, Flynn hey breaking the fourth. Finn, Flynn's breaking the fourth wall right there. I absolutely like that. Oh, I'm back. Oh, now this is where Captain gets what felt left. What did Fiery Flynn do today, Harold? Bell and Flynn put out a forest fire today. Did a cracking job, too. Got rid of it before it could really spread. Really? How big of a fire? Thankfully, not beyond a few trees. Those two made quick work of it. You know yep, them. Yep, they definitely did. <laughs> Good for them. Something Ooh. wrong, old chap. Hmm? No, it's no, it's nothing, Harold. It's fine. No, you're not clear. You're clearly not fine. Come on, Captain. I know you better than that. Been able to read you like a book since the Coast Guard days. Something's mm -hmm. up. Oh, all right. It's childish, but I feel no one appreciates the rescues I do. Of course they do, the Captain. Ben and Flynn put out a small fire. Everyone is overjoyed. But I almost have my hull ripped in half and no one bats an eye. It sometimes feels like nobody cares what I do. Captain, of course people care about what you do. You save lives. And you're very good at it, I might add. Do yep. you think these silly engines know half the rescues I've gotten up to? No. Our jobs can go thankless, but you're still helping people just as much as any of us. Mm -hmm. That's worth it all on its own, old chap. Yep. A perk up. Thanks for the talk, Harold. I've got to be off. You've only just arrived? Just a routine inspection. Won't be long. Oh, Harold's getting a bit worried about Captain Ears. The captain might do something silly. Alright, so he's gone to Brendan Docks. Doing a routine inspection. Ah, of course, there's the Normandy with Arthur pulling his running his branch line. And of course the harbour by the big station. <sighs> is it even worth it? Of course it is. Now he's going to Harwick, he is. Of course it is, Captain. All I can say is that everyone. You, I appreciate the work you do at sea, even though I don't live on Sodor. You put, you always look out for people you do, and the and the people you rescue, they are appreciative of what you do because, like I said, you save lives just like the others on the search and rescue team do. And look, there's Skiff. We can't just close off a section of line for just one little dip. But I almost fell in the river today, and the storm's going to make it worse. A storm's coming. Oh, pish posh, that stretch is fine. The only reason you almost fell off is because you're clumsy. I am a smooth running, highly sprung, and up-to-date diesel rail car. I are you now, Daisy? I bump on the line without losing my head. What are you two arguing about? Ryan here thinks we ought to close the line over one little snag in the rails. It's on a hill, and if one of us derails, we could fall off into the valley. It's not safe. Well, not too hard to derail if you are not wobbling about, Ryan. You have to go oh. there next anyway, so you can find There's out. There's Daisy being cocky as, as usual. you're so concerned with jumping off the rails. Oh, oh dear. Chop, chop. Oh, and Ryan got roasted right there. 
Good look, Ryan. Honestly, that engine can be such a coward. It gets exhausting. Oh, Daisy calling him a coward as well. Brian Puff. That's oh, right. Easy does it. That's uh... Ryan made his way down. <laughs> Ryan made his way I guess it is safe. Oh, I don't know what I was so worried about. Yeah, right. Ryan. Ryan. Uh, so, Ryan. Ryan round the bend as the trucks continue to giggle. I just thought I had a little bit of narration to it. Daisy. You need to take some passengers back to Arlsbroth from Harwick. They need to get home before the storm hits. It's muddy and wet! Why can't Ryan do it? He's already at Harwick. It's bound to be muddy and gross and... And then the rain will spoil my mascara! You're the only engine available, Daisy. Yep. You have to do it. Daisy, the passengers need oh, you. Oh, this stormy weather is going to be murder on my swerves. That's life, Daisy. Daisy made her way down the line, still grumbling to herself. Ooh, maybe Ryan was onto something. Let's get this over with before it gets any worse. As Daisy this made her way down the... Ridiculous! I can't see anything in this downpour. Oh. Oh, you, there's the bump that Ryan was talking about, Daisy. Oh. Stop! Stop! And Daisy ends up in the wa muddy oh, and in the right. water. Daisy and her passengers are stuck in the front line between Harwick and Arlesborough. Somebody needs to go up there as soon as possible. Firing Flynn to the rescue! <laughs> I don't think you'll be able to get there, oh, Flynn. Flynn. How are we supposed to help? Fiery Flynn is always ready to hit. There's no fire, Flynn. Oh. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> wow, no, Flynn thought it was a fire, really? I would go, but I can't carry that many people. Up to you, Harold. Oh. But Harold can't fly in this... Harold can't fly in this stormy weather. Can't fly in this weather. It'll put the people in danger. Yep. That means... Captain has to go. It's all up to you, Captain. You're our only hope. Yeah, come on, Captain. You did harder rescues than this with a hole in your hull in the old days, old chap. And there's the confidence from Harold. Go on, Captain. Come on, Daisy. Where are you? There she is. Come on, everyone. We have to get you out of here quickly. Yep. You can't just leave me. What am I supposed to do? You're too heavy for me to... Ah! You'll have to save her. She's getting further and further into the water. You should be safe around here. Oh, so thank you, well Captain. done. Well You're done, amazing. Captain. Oh, no Daisy. Thought Daisy was going to end Simply up in the water at this rate. Job. I've got to get your passengers somewhere safe. But I'll make sure someone comes to rescue you when the storm blows over. Oh, I can't be swept off course. I no. have to get them home. Come on, Captain. It's just Almost in sight right there. there. He's done it! He's done it! Alright, better stop shouting. Sorry about that, guys. You saved our lives! Thank you so much. We would have been stuck in that storm for hours if it hadn't been for you. Well done, <laughs> so Captain. Welcome. And there's Harold finding Daisy. Help me! Not here! 
Thought I might find you around here, Daisy. Captain said you took quite the tumble. Oh, Captain sent you! That boat was amazing, Harold! Rescued my passengers and pulled me out of the water just in time! <laughs> Good yeah. show, old boy. Indeed. Now, would you be so kind to get somebody who can actually get me out of here?! Oh, yes. Right Daisy, away. you don't have to be so ear I found her! Not too hard to derail if you aren't wobbling about, eh? No. Oh, maybe that wasn't a good idea, Ryan. Not where how pissed Daisy off. Oh, Daisy looks. What's the damage report, Harold? The damage can wait, Butch. Did you all hear what Captain did last night? What could Captain have possibly gotten up to? I thought you were out looking for Daisy. He pulled her out of the way all on his own. Yep. <coughs> well. Good job, Captain. Just imagine mm -hmm. the sheer strength. And bravery, too. How'd it happen? Well, you see, the water level was so high, I could see the treetops. I had to push branches aside. Now he's telling them a story. Oh, wow. And suddenly, there she was. And right near her was the biggest tree you've ever seen. Is that it? <laughs> Oh. Greetings, everyone! I'm glad you got to see me in action for a change. <laughs> yep. Up next, Belle and Flynn will be taking on the biggest fire yet. All I'm suggesting is that we make our main focus doing our jobs instead of style. Our shed's on fire. We're gonna suffer for this in one way or another, me. Oh. See you next time in Fanning the Flame. Ha <laughs> ha! Fanning the Flame. Oh, okay, so is this what we're gonna do? I literally thought that uh, that this would just be a one-off, that it would be a one-off, that basically what I mean by that is I thought that he would just be doing that little, like, you know, Sergeant Stories, the next chapter, just for the, what was it, just for the Larry Saga, but no, he's actually doing it for all his episodes. But yeah, like you said, Captain, it was so great. It's so, so great to see you in action for once. Because it did feel like you were just there for the merchandising. And although you did appear a, a few times, more, more times, rather than... Ah, oh, my ear. Sorry, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's because my ear just feels a little bit squeezed, it does. So, but yeah, it was great to see you in charge, Captain, it was. Since you were kind of like a merchandise character, I know you. Uh, although you did appear a few more times, dapper than the hit era characters. So, yeah, it was definitely so refreshing to see Captain as the main character of the story. Because let's be fair, the TV series didn't have Captain as you know the main character. Not one single episode at all. So. Yeah, it was definitely very, definitely a nice change, and we're going to. So I can't wait to see the next episode, Fanning the Flame. So this, and apparently it's one that clocks over twenty minutes. So yeah, just Fanning the Flame, and then we've got the Diesel Tank Christmas Special. It is, and I absolutely can't wait to watch that. So I want to try and react to Fanning the Flame tomorrow. If not, then so then I can react to the Diesel Tank Christmas Special on Sunday or Monday because. That special is definitely going to be well worth my time it is. So I definitely, definitely enjoyed this episode I did. Like I said, nice to see Captain as the main character for once. And yeah, that's basically all i got to say. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought this episode I reacted to. And also let me know in the comments down below what other videos you want me to react to next. Follow me on Instagram, link to that will be in the description down below. Share this video, subscribe if you're new here, ring that bell to get notified for when I upload new videos, or when I post on the community tab, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!